Um, also, while I was editing, I'm sorry, I got a little sassy tits in this one. Like, apparently I couldn't deal with the naysayers that day as I was recording, so sorry about that. Bye! <laughs> hey, you guys, and welcome to my kitchen, Midnight Munchies and More. I am your chef, Sharice, and today we are going to make a vegan and gluten-free trifle for y'all. Now, look, I know you've been seeing the ads on my video, but like, let's be serious, girl. I'm not Jen Julian. I'm not Shane Dawson. I'm not getting 30 million views per video. I'm making about 30 bucks a month, and y'all, girl, cannot stain, sustain, stain. I can't stain, bitch. I got stain on my shirt. I can't sustain, I can't sustain life with that. So, if you want to help support my channel, because hope... I see you, boo, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for your donation on my last video. It means the absolute world to me. And if you want to help donate as well, please go to my PayPal, Midnight Munchies and More at Yahoo.com. Will be linked below. It literally, I li like literally, like I know I said this before, and you're like, oh, Shane, like you're always like promoting like your PayPal, girl. I literally could not make this video or any of my videos without your help. Like, I, I just couldn't, like, I I couldn't. Like, it means everything to me. $1, $5, $10, like, it is the world to me. Whatever you have to help support my channel literally helps me keep going. How many times can I say literally? Also, if you want something, for your money, please buy my cookbook, Secrets from a Vegan Bakery. Buy my not much of them, more bitch. I have 46 recipes, 71 pages, extra tips and tricks, super easy recipes. Look, I'm looking at Greg, because no tea, no shade, biz. But if this guy can follow my recipe and be successful in my vegan bakery, girl, you can too. So let's jump into this, okay? Traditionally, a trifle has some sort of cake inside, but I wanted a little bit more crunch, so I'm going to make my vegan and gluten-free peanut butter cookies to put inside of my trifle. Now, this recipe, I'm not gonna give you the whole thing, I'm just gonna give you a quick montage to show you how easy it is to make, but the full recipe is in my e-cookbook, which is on sale on my Etsy, which I will link below. Now, I've never made my recipe with my recipe, who the fuck am I? I've never made my recipe with Wayfair's dairy free dairy free salted whipped butter which is also gluten-free so I'm gonna try it out today and I'm gonna see how well it does because I've made this recipe oh my god because because my cookbook is secret recipes from a vegan bakery I couldn't even begin to tell you how many times I've made this recipe over a hundred I'm sure like I just a ridiculous amount of time so I'll be able to show you if it works for baking final product of our vegan gluten-free peanut butter cookies using the Wayfair salted butter. So I don't know if you've seen pictures of mine before, but the top deck definitely tells you that the texture is a little bit different, but they still taste amazing. They're still equal shaped, like they still baked right, still awesome. I highly recommend. Um, I think if I were to do these again, I would use about a tablespoon less of the gluten-free flour just because the salted butter makes them like a little bit thicker, I would say, looking from the tops of them. So anyways, I, they're still great. Like it still did what it was supposed to do. It's still fucking delicious, but I will say they are a little bit different than my original recipe in my cookbook. For one of our layers, we're going to do kind of a like chocolate uh, creme patissiere, if you will. <laughs> I interrupt your regularly scheduled, regular, regularly, your regularly scheduled program to tell you while I was editing, I was like, oh my God, this is not creme pat, this is not creme patissiere, it's diplomat cream, it's diplomat cream, y'all. Look at me, I'm like Great British Bake Off. So <laughs> I'm going to use Wayfair's dairy-free, vegan, gluten-free chocolate pudding. Now I'm going to empty there's four of them in a pack and I'm going to empty them all into here. Now, I'm only using three because if you saw my review video, I already ate one. <laughs> but if I was making this without the uh, video, I would do all four. Because these chocolate puddings are super thick, I'm gonna go in here with a whisk and I'm just gonna take my time and just really whisk it up and make it a lot more smoother before we add our 
next ingredient. So now we're gonna go in here with our vegan coconut milk inspired Cool Whip. <laughs> I just like a family guy, Cool Whip. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna fold it in but we're gonna do a little bit at a time that way we don't like mess up the airiness of the cool whip <laughs> the cocoa whip <laughs> I'm gonna start with just a little spoonful well I guess it's a gigantic spoonful but I'm gonna start with just a little bit to like loosen it up a little bit because that chocolate pudding is so thick tits and now we're going to add the rest. And again, make sure you fold. Do a little Julia Child's action. If you don't know, it's down the middle and around. <laughs> down the middle and around. <laughs> and don't worry, it seems like it's never going to mix in, but it will. Just be patient. It's totally worth it, sis. Now we're going to pop this in the fridge until we finish the rest. Now we're going to make a vegan cream cheese whipped type of creme pat, if you will. I can't get over it. I don't even know which one it is. Creme anglaise, creme pat. I don't fucking know I'm vegan. So <laughs> again, we're going to use the Wayfair vegan and gluten-free cream cheese. Wayfair out here. So I have a whole container and we're going to pop this whole baby inside. And to that, we're going to add one cup of powdered sugar. So if you've ordered my cookbook, which is linked below, how many times can I say that in a video? <laughs> I teach you how to make your own powdered sugar if you can't find a vegan form, because as we've talked about many a time on this channel, that regular sugar is processed with bone char more often than not. So you wanna make sure you get a powdered sugar brand that uses sugar not processed with bone char. And then if you're doing gluten-free, so normally when you make the powdered sugar, you do like a mix of regular white sugar mixed with flour. But if you're gluten-free, just do cornstarch, same concept. So we're gonna pour that baby right on in there. We're gonna pull out our handy dandy whisk beater thingy and we're gonna go to town, sis. And now we're gonna come in with, you guessed it, a whole nother package of the So Delicious Cocoa Quip. And just like we did with the chocolate pudding, we'll take a little bit first just to loosen it up, go around, down, down the middle and around the outside, down the middle and around the outside. And now for the rest. And again, we're gonna pop this in the refrigerator until we cut our fruit and start assembling. I cut up five bananas on an angle, cause like I'm trying to be fancy. And then I cut up two pounds of strawberries cause they're a buy one, get one free. But I sliced them like, you know, like you slice them. We certainly could layer the cookies like all around, but as you're going in with the scoop, you don't wanna have to like have some resistance. So we're just gonna crumble them all up. I saved a couple to see like a couple of the smaller ones, see if I can make like a cool decoration. I mean, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like we'll see what happens at the end, right? But let's crumble our cookies. And now we're going to assemble. So you need a gigantic clear bowl. Normally you're like typical like trifle bowls have like a little like Bloop before it's the bowl, like um, almost like the cake stand, but then it's like a big gigantic bowl. I don't have one of those, but I have this like weird shaped fucking Blanco, hand blown or some shit. A Blanco glass bowl that my mom gave me. <laughs> this is my grandparents and my mom was like, it's Blanco. It's like so fancy and expensive. You should make a trifle. And I was like, all right, I'll make a fucking trifle. <laughs> All right, so first thing we need to do is we're gonna take our chocolate um, custardy type thing and we're gonna put half of it in the bottom. And then you gotta spread it around. Now you need to be, okay, okay, because it's a glass bowl, the whole point is that you're gonna show the sides and it's gonna be all fancy. So you gotta like make sure it's like nice and perfect and like, <laughs> I already messed it up. <laughs> Because it's a weird shaped bowl. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to clean up the edges after I spread it around. Just because like I need that thumbnail. I need it to be perfect. So now we're going to come in here with our strawberry layer. So what I want to do is I want to put these on the side and line them up like so. <laughs> it's like very delicate. It's like surgery. Because I want them to look like super awesome on the side. 
So now that we have them all on the side, which clearly I dropped a couple, <laughs> we're just gonna take handfuls and just kind of fill them in. Like you can layer them like all fancy, but like <laughs> who has time for that? Barely have time to put them on the side fancy like that. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna come in here. Well, that's a lot of strawberries. Then <laughs> so we're gonna come in here with our bananas and our fancy cut. And we're gonna do the same thing and just like put them against the side and then fill them in the middle. Okay, so we have all our bananas in there. This is definitely a fruit heavy, uh, what do you call it, a trifle? <laughs> so now we're gonna add half of our cream cheese whipped topping. Oh my God. And then we're going to add our peanut butter cookie crumbles, a nice thick layer. Then we're gonna add the last of our chocolate custardy moussey whip delicious layer. And of course, to get all fancy, I'm gonna pull out my icing tip and I'm gonna start in the middle because that's where I want my um, rose, my strawberry rose to be. So I'm gonna do a little like, just like a little circle. And then I'm just gonna keep going around and around and around the outside, sis. And then you can take your leftover fruit and just decorate as you please. But I'm definitely gonna stick, let me focus, stick my not great, mediocre fucking strawberry rose in the middle. Like, oh, I'm fancy. Oh my God, I got stuff on it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I made it worse. Oh my God. Oh, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> and then just keep decorating as you see fit with whatever you have. I have these cookies. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe like stick them around the side. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> you guys, look uh this i can't even like hold it it's so heavy oh my god but i didn't want to put it on a plate because it just looks like mishmash when you scoop it out right so if rachel green can do this on friends beef sauteed with peas and carrots no, I'm just have you seen that episode that's just hilarious and ross is like it tastes like meat okay <laughs> all right so I'm gonna do what y'all think I'm gonna do. Oh, I don't, I don't wanna ruin it. Like, look at the top, look at how pretty. Okay, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit, Biz. Oh, give me some of that strawberry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, this banana, hold on. Mmm. Oh my God. Let me get some strawberry. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. You guys have to put it down. It's too heavy. <laughs> Apparently putting that down on the table makes my whole iPad fall. <laughs> Which again, that's what I record on. So if the quality isn't that great, it's because my iPad same little camera as an iPhone. I'd love to get a camera, love to get some editing equipment and make extra special videos for you guys. But let me tell you, sis. Stain, sustain. That, that trifle is like, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you have omnivore friends and family and it's a summertime and it's a barbecue and you're like what do i bring fucking bring this shit right here like i'm about to take a big ass scoop to my mama tomorrow when i see her she omnivore because she was like i told you make a trifle in the blanco so <laughs> so i'm gonna take her a piece and I'm going to blow her damn mind because you have no idea that that shit was vegan. So I highly recommend full written recipe as per usual. We'll be linked below. MidnightMunchiesAndMore.com. And you guys, you know what? Smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> because I have more epic recipes. I have one more like epic recipe and then I'll do like more recipes. But like if, I mean, I'm a skinny legend. So if you want me to just do like, because I know some of you with my burger recipe were like, Oh my god, that can feed four people, and oh my god, that's so horrible for you. So if you want me to do a salad recipe where I literally just throw vegetables in a bowl and I'm like, oh, here's the video, I'll do that. 
Comment below if you want me to do that. Comment below if you think that's a motherfucker bullshit. Sorry, I'm getting petty cracker. I'm getting petty cracker. I love you. I love all of you. Even the fucking haters, but especially those of you who've been subscribed to me, you mean the fucking world to me! I love you, I'll catch you next time. Oh, good night, kisses, Wally wishes, and reminisces. His eyes kissing Wally wish for the full moon above. Oh, I will read up, passionate love, listening closely, positioning my intuition for her nutrition and ambition, nutrition and ambition, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up.